back to volleyball in a minute, but let's focus on a different kind of team. Imagine using a robot to clean up your local river or lake. That's what your next group of students is working on as they prove that teamwork extends beyond sports. Our Gerald Oliveri watches Creativity Unleashed in Marietta. Kale Robotics is much like any other high school sports team. They have an off-season and they compete for competitions and awards. At the beginning of January, every year, teams across the country are presented with new materials and guidelines for developing them. Then they're given six weeks to get ready for competition. The Kale Robotics team participates in a world competition every April. This April, they participated at the Georgia Dome and they entered in lunacy. We have Stephen Black here who's going to explain exactly what the robot does. Okay, well, um, this is our robot and we had 10 inch diameter balls and they would be entered all on the playing field and we'd scoop them up with this roller on the bottom. They'd go through our robot into a storage system in here. And then this panel right here, you can see from the front, would smash the balls against the uh, conveyor belt right here, which would lift them all to the top. They'd sit on top of this platform and then whenever we triggered it, this would raise up like a gate and all the balls would dump out into other teams' trailers. This past spring, the team won the 2009 Peachtree Regional Chairman's Award, which is the most prestigious award given by FIRST. That award recognizes all of the internal development and educational projects that a team has completed. It's a big uh, honor video. because building Wait. robots is really only a small part of the program. The robotics, the actual building of the robot in competition is probably 25% of what we do. We spend all the rest of the year uh, promoting STEM education. A big initiative within Kale Robotics is the women's program, which encourages girls to get involved with science and engineering. They mentor middle school kids and even high school kids, and the program has been so successful that over half of the team is comprised of females. We encourage them to participate in a mostly male-dominated field. Boys like doing stuff like this. They'll come on their own, but some girls need to be brought. It's a great experience. Like, I never realized, like, how beneficial it is to being on the team and how much I'm exposed to and how much I've learned and grew from being part of this. During the off season, which is the summer and fall, the team has primarily worked on a robot named Corky, which is designed to pick up trash and debris along bodies of water. The team has created coloring books and other promotional materials to help bring awareness to the project. A few years ago, we started working on the actual idea with uh, the mechanics and all. Last year we built it, and this year we finally started to go test it out. Uh, the plan is for next year to go and uh, add on some new features and modify it to a uh, nicer version. Reporting for Prep Sports Plus, I'm Gerald Oliveri, and that's what's going on at Carroll High School. The team will be hosting a recruiting event on December the 5th. For more information, visit kellrobotics.org. Thank you, Gerald.